see all these guys in the gym, they work on skills, quickness, move, slip, slip, one, two, three, move back, one, two, three, move, get the hell out the way. You know, when, when you got a fighter that's going to fight you and, and you're not used to training that way to fight, and when you start to fight back, and I always say you're going to get tired because you're not used to fighting that way, or if, you're not, if you don't train that way, you're going to be uncomfortable fighting that way. Like, and that's the problem between a lot of the blacks and the Hispanics. They, they, used to, they used to control boxing at one point. Control boxing, you know? And I always say this. It was like a, a, a white person, a, I mean a Caucasian, winning a world title was like Tiger Woods winning the master, being black. But now the Europeans and the Mexicans, they fighting. They come to fight. And they win the world titles. And the and the blacks and the Spanish, they too busy with skills. They wouldn't have skills. They gotta look good. They they shadow boxing looking over in the mirror. Bah, bah, boom, bang. Oh no, I didn't throw that too. I gotta look smooth. I gotta look this. Nobody wants to stand there and fight like a man. Like you have to fight. I see so many fights, and I always say this when a guy is losing a fight, you have to fight. Fighters today, they say, fine, I'll lose. I don't care. I made my peace with God. You know, hey, they just good. Like, I made my peace with God. Hey, you know, I'm just going to, I'm not going to get knocked out, but I'm going to just try to win this fight. I'm just going to, I'm just not going to get hurt. I'm not going to get hurt. I know I'm a loser. And, and I say the same thing the other day that the, the guy, um, what's his name? He fought Earl Spence the other day. He, Mikey Garcia. Mike Garcia was like, yo, listen, hey, you know, listen, I made my peace with God. You know, I got, you know, I'm just using it for an example. Like, yo. You know, I'm just going to not get knocked out, go to 12 rounds, go home to my family safe, and I'm all right. You know, I'm not going to get hurt. And that's the type of fight he was fighting. I remember back in the days, you had fighters. They fought to death. They fight. You had that referee stop the fight. They ready to flip on the referee. They train to stop it. They flip on the trainer, you know, because they was there to fight. They was there to put on a show. They had pride, you know? Mm -hmm. People today just, and I always say they don't have this pride. They let another man beat on them, hit them, and they want to run around the ring, jab, one, two, get out the way, move, move. You know, they even practice on the bag. If you come watch most guys in the bag, they hit the bag, shh, jump for the bag. Shh, be, you be thinking the bag's throwing punches at them, mm -hmm. you know, because they practice and they hit and move, move. And then you tell fighters, you say, hey, why are you running from that bag? Why are you not fighting that bag? Throw more punches, 10 punches, 12. Nah, because, you know, I, I can get hit. So what gives the other guy the privilege to stand there and throw punches at you? You understand what I'm saying? And this what made Madonna uh, do so great with a lot of people mm -hmm. because he took he had a great chin and he is standing there and fight you. You know, give it, a, give it 15, 15 years ago. There's no way any man is going to run away from you. Mm -hmm. A man is going to stand there and fight you back. He's going to fight you today. People's like, hey, hey, I can move around. I don't care. I'm not going to get hurt. The sport is to make money well, we got and not one, get hurt. We got not to cut you off. We have one exception because that's how Sugar Ray Leonard brought it. And that was 15, 20 years ago. Yo, listen. Now, people always say, Against look. Hagler. Okay, but listen. And Durant. Too. Okay, but check this out. That's how Ray Leonard brought it. No, no, Let, no let's but listen. Here, okay, Aaron. but listen. Leonard moved around and I'll keep this real with you. Let's keep it 100. Now, now you got to understand. Leonard stopped and he threw multiple punches at you and his shots were trying to hurt you and now that you said that Sugar Ray's not trying to win fights on points he was trying to take Hagler head off he was Hagler, Hagler was a bigger man he's trying to take Duran head off these fighters today are not trying to fight to hurt you they're fighting to win he's trying to he's throwing punches to try to take your neck off your body like hard shots why you think if people always say that I say but he stopped guys there's a point in the fight when Sugar Ray says, okay, now it's time for me to go get you. It's time for me to get you, and he's coming to get you, and he's going to knock you out. And I had a conversation with somebody about this the other day. They brought the same stuff up about Sugar Ray. I said, look, Sugar Ray fought Tommy Hearns. Tommy Hearns didn't want to lose that fight, first fight. Sugar didn't want to lose that first fight. What happened? Sugar Ray would move, move. He did what he did, Bach. And then you know what? He knew he was losing. So he know he's losing. So now he say, it's time for me to go get this guy. I have to stand there. I have to be a man. I have to perform. He went in. Tommy Hearns was tired. He was tired. You know, he had a little more than Tommy Hearns. So he stopped Tommy Hearns. You, you never seen Sugar Ray in a fight when you know he's losing the fight. 
And he's not going to get a guy. It's not going to happen. He's coming to get you. Hagler. He's winning the whole fight. He's winning. He's how, in, how you winning the whole fight? Backing listen, up against no, the no, champion. No, listen, listen. Hold Yo, on now. Listen, he's hitting this Hold guy. Hold on now, Superman. Listen, listen. He's backing up against the I'm champion. I'm going to ask you a question, though. Okay. He moved, he moved, he stopped. He threw 15, 20 punches. He see, move, he move, he's throwing 10, 10, 12, 15 punches. I want you to watch the fight. And all your views on him, I want them to watch the fight. He's in this guy with multiple combinations. He's winning the fight. Mm -hmm. There's no need for him to do nothing else. He's beating you up. And guess what? He's trying to hurt you. He's lifting the head, the head all, all over the place. These guys, they go, move, run, trying to kill the clock. So, do you think he hurt Hagler at any point in that fight? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you could watch in some of the fight, Hagler kind of slowed down a little bit. He hit him with a couple of shots, lift Hagler head up, hit Hagler with some hooks. You can hear him, bang, 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 bang. You can hear the shots on him. Those were not smack shots. Hagler was just bigger, and Hagler was stronger. So you think he did enough to beat the champion? Yeah. He come, yo, you got one guy walking to you, get hit, hit with 10, 15 punches. Come on, man. Or you crazy. Some of them was, was small, but, he's, but and then a lot of them were just hard shots he was catching with. So you don't think, how'd you score the fight? Out of yo, 12 rounds, how many rounds did Hagler win? I, I, I I gave Hagler, I gave Hagler four rounds. Four rounds. I, I gave Hagler four. He's walking to the man because he's getting hit. He's getting hit with four and five, six punches. Watch the fight. And all the viewers that see this video, I want you to watch the fight. He's moving, but he's stepping back. He's hitting you. He's moving. Away. Bang, bang. He's stepping back. He's throwing shots. Just that one fight he fought like that. The other guy was much bigger. You can't name no other fights that Sugar fought like that. Sugar Ray finished people off. The second fight with Duran, he fought like that. Yeah, but then he stood there. He stood right in front of Duran, put his hands down, did this, bang, bang. He stood right in front of him. Okay, it's time to fight now. He knew it was time to go get him. He moved around, jabbing him, beating him up, moving, bang. He's fucking him up. He's hitting him. He's hurting the guy. So you, you don't consider those pity pat punches? You consider them powerful? Yo, Duran don't, listen. You think Duran fiddle? He's hitting him in the body with the fucking shots and hitting him upside his head? His head's all over the place? Are you crazy? Durant, you ask Durant, do he consider no punches, pity pat punches? He got hit so much, he stopped. He said, that's it. You know what happened was, he got hit with that body shot. Mm -hmm. He got hit with a body shot just before they stopped it, and he said, fuck this shit. This guy hurt me. And he's in him at me. Your man Louis said he, uh, Durant stopped that fight because he had to go to the bathroom. That's bullshit. He ate a lot of listen, food. Listen, listen. Durant been fighting for 100 years, you know. True. I don't think Duran even said a, a, a stupid excuse like that. He was frustrated. He was getting beat up. He didn't know what to do. He was getting hit to the stomach. And, you know, Sugar Ray, maybe Sugar Ray did hit him in his stomach and made him shit on himself. Who knows? But Sugar Ray hit him in his stomach, hitting him with some fucking head shots, some hooks, some right hands, some uppercuts. He was hitting him with multiple shots. He was spinning this guy's head. This guy didn't know where his punches was coming from. He was lost. Have you ever heard of something like that? A guy getting hit so hard with a body shot, he evacuates? No, I never heard that. No? No, no. no. Nothing like that in the ring, though. No, no.